the size of the prosthesis and then also for some trials. Uh, mm. Mm. And I have no place to go back. Your apartment was destroyed. Yes. Look, I'm here in Lviv and we're in a seminary here where they're bringing refuge and help to these civilians. And I'm with Ludmilla and she was outside her home trying to get some food and help and she was hit by a shell and she's lost a leg. And you can see that it's not just military but it's civilians like Ludmilla who need our help and need our support. Uh, it's going to take a long time for her to recover. Uh, they're making a prosthetic leg for her, but you understand it's the civilians as well as the military who need our help. And yes, this is Ludmilla and she's from the Donetsk region where the fighting has been serious. She's been here since May and she needs our prayers and our encouragement and support. God bless you. I just pray, Father, I just pray for Ludmilla that you would give her the help and the support that she needs to rebuild her life. She's lost everything. But Lord, she has you as a heavenly Father. And Father, I just pray your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. So Ludmilla lost everything, her home, everything, and her leg. You understand the suffering. And they're living here in these conditions. Yeah, thank God for the support that they have, that there is a shelter here with a roof and somewhere to sleep, but this is not home, you understand.